वेलकम टू दिस पाइथन कोर्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द पाइथन ऑपरेटर्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स आर अवेलेबल इन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट विल सी वॉट इज एन ऑपरेटर वॉट इज एन ऑपरेंड सो ऑपरेटर इज अ स्पेशल सिम्बॉल दैट परफॉर्म्स एन ऑपरेशन ऑन ऑपरेंड्स एंड ऑपरेंड इज अ वैल्यू और वेरिएबल टू विच द ऑपरेशन इज एप्लाइड so on the operands we perform operation using the operators so these are the different types of operators available in python first one is arithmetic operators second one is logical operators relational or comparison operators bitwise operators assignment operators membership operators and identity operators so these are all seven types of operators available in python so first we'll see arithmetic operators so arithmetic operators contains different operators first operator is addition or unary plus operator then subtraction and unary minus operator multiplication operator division operator फ्लोर डिविजन ऑपरेटर मॉड्यूलस ऑपरेटर एंड पावर ऑपरेटर सो फर्स्ट वन इज एडिशन ऑपरेटर यू कैन वी कैन यूज प्लस एज यूनरी प्लस और वी कैन अप्लाइड इट फॉर टू ऑपरेंट्स टू परफॉर्म द एडिशन सो यूनरी प्लस इज अप्लाइड ऑन सिंगल ऑपरेंड सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल गिवन एक्स इक्वल्स टू माइनस ट्वेंटी एंड वी हैव असाइन वाई इक्वल्स टू प्लस एक्स सो टू डिफाइन एनी नंबर एज अ पॉजिटिव नंबर और इन दैट केस यू कैन प्रोसीड योर नंबर विथ प्लस साइन ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज दिस प्लस ऑपरेटर टू परफॉर्म एडिशन सो इट इज एप्लॉयड ऑन टू ऑपरेंट्स सो एडिशन इज अ बाइनरी ऑपरेटर where we required two operands to perform this so uh, 10 plus 20 so plus is used to perform addition of numbers 10 and 20 next is the subtraction operator which is binary or unary subtraction operation unary minus means if you want to represent any number as a negative number then this unary minus is Uh, operator is used and it is applied on only single operand so x equals to minus 20 so minus is used to represent 20 as an negative number then subtraction operator which is applied on two operands so 50 minus 23 so to get the subtraction of any two numbers we can use the subtraction operator then we have multiplication operator it is a binary operator which is used to multiply two numbers so star is the operator used to represent multiplication so 5 star 23 means 5 multiplied by 23 you will get the multiplication result then division operators it is also a binary operator which is used to divide the first operand by the second operand so 23 divided by 4 so slash is used to represent the division operator so 23 is your first operand and 4 is the second operand and slash is used for performing the division then next is floor division operator it is also a binary operator where uh, which is used to uh divide the first operand by second operand but the result you are getting is always an integer value in the simple division case in if when you are using single slash to perform the division operator you will get the result in floating point numbers and when you perform the floor division by using double slash operator in that case you will get the result in only integer form then next operator is the modulus operator which is used by represented by percent sign or mod operator it is an binary it is a binary operator and which is also used to which performs the division but it returns the remainder as a result instead of giving the quotient it returns the remainder
as a result. Division operators returns you the question part, but modulus operator returns you the remainder of the division. And the last operator is the power operator, which used to calculate the uh, or which calculates the first operand raised to the power second operand. So, if you want to perform any power operation, then we use this uh, power operator that is star star. So, we will see the example based on this arithmetic operators. So, first operator is the ar first arithmetic operator is plus. So, you can represent any number as plus 10. So, it is considered as a simple positive number. So, this is a unary plus operator to represent positive number. Then if you want to perform addition of two different numbers, then you can use this this number <laughs> you will get the addition result sum of two numbers this is the plus operator same way we have a uh, uh, minus operator unary minus is used to represent a negative number so minus 60 so minus is an unary operator unary minus operator which is used to represent 60 as a negative number and also you can perform subtraction operation using this. So, minus is used to represent as number any number as negative number where we require only one operand and subtraction operator where it is a binary operator which requires two operands to perform the operation. So, this is plus and minus. Then we have star to represent the multiplication operator. You can perform any multiplication operation using it. So, 36 into 4, you will get the result. Then next one is division operation, 78 divided by 3. Here we will get the result as 26.0 or we will try another example. divided by 3 46 divided by 3 so here here you will get the result as 15.3 up to 15 digits you can get the result so this result is in uh, decimal format floating point numbers so if you represent or if you use the floor division operator 46 divided by 3 you will get just integral part of it that is 15 so, if you want to just get the integral part, use the floor division and if you want the result in decimal format or in floating point numbers, then you can use the simple division operator. Next operator is the mod operator that is modulus 46 mod 3, you will get the remainder. So, using mod operator, you will get the remainder and the last operator is the power operator which is used to get the power 6 raised to 3 that is 216. So, these are all arithmetic operators available in Python. The next type of operator is relational operator or it is also called as comparison operator which is used to compare two operands and as a result it returns either true or false in terms of boolean values. List uh, there are different relational operators uh, greater than less than equal to greater than equals to less than equals to and not equals to so greater than is used when you want to check that if first operand is greater than the second operand or not if it is so then it results the true value otherwise it returns false value in this example 5 greater than 3 so 5 is the greater number than 3 so it it should result in the true uh, similarly we can have less than operator if the first value is less than the second value it results in the true otherwise it results in false the next operator is equal to equal to it returns true if both the values 
in left hand side and in right hand side that is both the operands are same then it returns true otherwise it returns false so 20 equal to equal to 20 means these two values are same so it returns true if 20 equal to equals to 60 then these two values are different so it should result in false so if you want to check that whether two values are equal or not we can use this equal to equal to operator then not equals to operator if first operand or left hand side operand is not equal to the right hand operand then it returns in true otherwise it returns false so 65 not equals to 42 so these two values are different so it should return in true and if uh, 65 not equals to 65 both values are same so it should result in false then greater than equals to so greater than only check whether the first operand is greater than second operand or not but this greater than equal to check that two condition it will check two conditions whether it is greater than or it is equal to first it will check for whether the first operand is greater than the second operand or not if that condition fails it will check that whether the first operand is sec equal to the second operand or not so if either of the condition is true it results in true otherwise it results in false so 5 greater than equals to 3 5 is greater than 3 but not equals to 3 so one condition is true that is greater than so the, this results in the true and if, uh, if another example we have taken like 5 greater than equals to 5 so in this case it is not greater than 5 is not greater than 5 but 5 is equal to 5 so this condition is true so it results in the true similarly for less than condition so less than equals to condition operator it returns true if left operand is less than or equal to right operand otherwise it returns in false so 5 less than equals to 5 so 5 is not less than but it is equals to 5 one condition is true in it so it results in true so we'll see the examples related to this so if 5 less than 3 so 5 less than 3 it is false condition 5 is greater than 3 so it should result in five, uh, false so if i write 5 greater than 3 so it should it should result in true this is less than and greater than operator if i write 5 greater than equals to 3 it results in true if i write 5 greater than equals to 5 again it should result in true if i write 4 less than 90 it should result in true because 4 is less than 90 and if again if i write 4 less than equals to 0 it should result in false because 4 is greater than 0 and if i write 4 less than equals to 4 it results in true because it is not less than but 4 is equal to 4 this condition is satisfied and if you check 5 equal to equal to 5 so this is the equal to operation which will check whether the two operands are equal or not so this is true 5 and 5 are equal so it results in true and if i change the one of the value so 5 is not equals to 12 so it results in false similarly we can check whether 5 is not equals to 4 so 5 and 4 these two are the different values so it should result in true and if i skip the both values are same then it results in false because 5 is equal to 5 it is not equals to 5 we have written so it should result in false so these are the uh, comparison operators or relational operators in python the next operator is logical operators in python 
which is used to combine conditional expressions with the help of the conditional operators or relational operators. So, there are three uh, types of logical operators, logical and, logical or and logical not. So, logical and is represented using and keyword. It returns true if both the conditions are true, otherwise it returns false. So, in this example, we have, we have taken three variables x, y and z, we have assigned some value and we have written the statement like x greater than y and y greater than z. So, x value, x has value 10, y has value 20. So, 10 greater than 20 is false and y greater than z means 20 greater than 30. This is also a false statement. So, both are the false statements. So, false and false is a false. So, if you write in another way like x less than y and y less than z, then this statement returns in true because 10 is less than 20 as well as 20 is less than 30. So, it returns in true. So, if both the conditions are true, then it results in true in the expression, otherwise it returns the false value. Then we have logical or operator, it returns true if one of the conditions is true, otherwise it returns false. So, in this example, x greater than y, it is false uh, statement that is 10 greater than 20 is false and y greater than z that is 20 greater than 30, this is also a false statement. So, it results in false. If you consider another example like x greater than y or y less than z, x greater than y as a false statement, but y less than z that is 20 less than 30 is a true statement. So, if one of the statement is true, then it results in true. So, in that case, the it results in the true. This is a logical or operator which is used, uh, used or uh, you represented using or keyword. And last operator, logical operator is logical not. Uh, logical not, it returns true. If the conditional expression returns in false, it returns true. And if the conditional expression returns in, returns the true value, it uh, that logical not operator returns the false. Means x not x greater than y. So, 10 greater than 20 is a false statement. Not of false is a true. So, not x greater than y returns the true value and not y less than z. 20 is less than 30, it is a true statement and not of true is a false. So, not y less than z returns the false value. So, it just negates the uh, values. If it results in true, it converts to the false. If it results in false, it converts it to the so, these are the logical operators. We will see the example. So, 10 greater than 20 is a false statement. Uh, we will see first true statements. If 10 less than 20 and 30 less than 50. So, 10 less than 20 is a true statement and 30 less than 50 is also true statement. So, true and true is true. So, this should result in true. And if we change one of the condition, 30 greater than 50 is a false statement. So, true and false is a false. So, it should result in false. So, this is a logical and operator which is applied on different expressions. And if we replace this and by or, so it should result in true because 10 less than 20 is a true condition and 30 greater than 50 is a false. So, true or false is a true and if you make both the conditions as false, then it results in false in case of or. 
so this is and or and for not if you write 30 less than 20 30 less than 20 is a false operation so not of false is a true so it should result in true and if you change it to 30 greater than 20 is a true operation true result and not of true is false so result of not 30 greater than 20 is false so these are the logical operators available in python. next is bitwise operators in python bitwise operators which operates on bits that is on binary digits zeros and ones we have different uh, bitwise operators available in python bitwise and bitwise or not xor left shift and right shift we will see it one by one so first is bitwise and operators it returns one if both the bits are one otherwise it returns zero so in this example we have taken two values that is a as 10 and b as 5 so we'll represent both the numbers in the binary so binary of 10 is 1010 and binary of 5 is 0101 and when we perform bitwise and operation as we say that it returns one if both bits are one so the last digits that is msb is 01 so 0 and 1 is 0 1 and 0 is 0 0 and 1 is 0 1 and 1 1 and 0 is 0 so it results in all zeros so result of 10 and 5 is 0 so this is a bitwise and operator it perf it performs the operation on the digits binary digits so to perform this operation first we need to convert our numbers into the binary perform the and operation and again we'll get the result in decimal so it these process will be automatically done at the background so no worry about it but the internally it performs the operation like this first it will convert the, the digits into the binary decimal digits into the binary it performs the and operation bitwise and operation and it will give the result back in the decimal same way we have bitwise or operator in bitwise or operator it returns one if one of the bit is bits is one otherwise it returns zero so for same numbers if we find out the or so ms lsb is zero one so zero or one is one one or zero is one zero or one is one one or zero is one so it is the decimal of 15 so we'll get the result as 15 10 or 5 result will get as 15 then bitwise not operator which returns the ones complement of the number so to get the ones complement of number first we have converted decimal 10 to the binary that is 1010 so it is represented using tilde operator so tilde of a that is not of a that is when we perform it just replace 0 by 1 and 1 by 0 so we'll perform it and then we'll get the result as 5 uh, in decimal format but when you actually perform this operation on the console you will not get the result as 5 because this negation operation is performed that is not operation it is performed along with the sign bit of the number so if you want to uh, represent any number in binary so take the the msb of every that is most significant bit of the number as consider it as a sign bit if your number is positive number consider that bit as zero if your number is negative number consider that digit as or that bit as one so 10 is a positive number so we'll represent it as 0 1 0 1 0 and perform now perform the negation operation on it replace the digits so we'll get the 10101 and as the first digit msb we are getting it as 1 so represent it as means when we get the decimal number from 
any binary number what we are doing we are multiplying that number that is 1 or 0 with the 2 raised to its place value so and we are doing the addition of it so for the sign bit represent that number in negative format that is minus 2 raised to the place of it so first one that is most significant bit of this number uh, is present at the fourth index and lsb we can consider at starts from zeroth bit so one is placed at zero then second bit is zero which is placed at index one third is one that is placed at index two zero is present at index three and that one is present at index four but it is a it is considered as a sign bit so represent it as when you collectively when you collectively represent this number so this was our number 10101 so when you going to convert this number into the decimal it is represented as 1 into uh, now this first digit is a uh, uh, most significant bit considered for the uh, representing the sign so it is taken as 1 into minus 2 raised to 4 plus second digit is 0 so 0 into 2 raised to 3 then 1 into 2 raised to 2 then 0 plus 0 into 2 raised to 1 and last one <coughs> is 1 into 2 raised to 0 so this 1 into 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 0 is 1 so 1 into 1 so this results in 1 0 multiplied with any number results in 0 then 1 into 2 raised to 2 that is 4 so this 4 and this 1 4 plus 1 is 5 0 multiplied with any number is 0 and 1 into minus 2 raised to 4 so it results in uh, 16 so minus 16 plus 4 so it uh, it results in minus uh, so plus 5 it results in minus 11 so when you perform this operation on console like negation of 10 you will get the result as minus 11 so here you will get the result as minus 11 for negation operation and for bitwise and so 10 and 5 you will get the result as 0 as we have seen this example and 10 or 5 you will get the result as 15 so in this way you can get the result you can perform the operation on bits using bitwise operators so this is bitwise not operator when we perform bitwise not operator we need to take an into account the sign bit of the number then we will get the correct result then XOR bitwise XOR operator it returns 0 if both bits are equal otherwise it returns 1 so here we have considered two different numbers 10 and 9 10 is represented as 1010 and 9 is represented as 1001 so when we perform XOR operation so for if you consider the most significant bits of two numbers it is 1 so 1 or 1 x or 1 it results in 0 because here it is written that if it returns 0 if both the bits are equal either they are 0 or 1 if both are equal it results in 0 otherwise it results in uh, 1 so here you can say check that 
10 x or 9 it results in 3. So, same result we are getting that is 3. So, first it is get converted into the binaries and it will perform the XOR operation. In XOR operation if both the bits are equal then it returns the 0 value otherwise if both the bits are different then it returns 1 value. The next operator is bitwise right shift operator. The right shift operator uh, performs or it shifts the bits of binary number to the right and when we perform this particular operation the results we are getting as the it divides the number what is your original number by 2 raised to n where n represent how many bits you are shifting to the right okay so in this example we have considered the number as 12 so in binary 12 is represented as 1100 now if we shift this particular number 12 only one bit to the right so it what we are doing in right shift operation operator so our number is 12 it is represented as 01100 now we want to perform just right shift one digit shift this number only one digit to the right so how these values get shifted to the right it will remove this particular last digit from your number it may be either 0 or 1 it will remove that number from your digit and it will add 0 at the beginning okay so your new number will be it will remove the last digit from your number so, it removes this particular digits whether it is 0 or 1 irrespective of that it will add 0 at the beginning. So, if you are shifting only one digit to the right it will add only one 0 at the beginning by removing one value in it one, one value from the right side and when you are shifting two digits from the uh, if you write here 2 to the uh, if you shift this number two digits to the right so it will remove last two values from your number and it will proceed with that many number of zeros in your result so this is a binary shift operator right shift operator so as a result if you are shifting it by only one digit so you will you will get the result as 110 so 110 is nothing but the binary sorry decimal 6 value so, as I said here, you will get it divides your number by 2 raised to n. So, here n value is 1, we are going to shift only one digit to the right. Our original number is 12. So, 12 divided by 2 raised to 1. So, 2 raised to 1 is 2 itself. So, 12 divided by 2 you will get the result as 6. So, if you are shifting your number by only one digit you will get the result as 12 divided by 2 and if you are shifting your result by two digits you will get the result as 00011. So, it is nothing but decimal of decimal equivalent of 3. So, we are shifting this number by two digits. So, it should be divided by 2 raised to so, 12 divided by 2 raised to 2 that is 12 divided by 4 it you it will result in 3. So, same result we are getting when we perform the right shift operation. So, we will see here. So, 12 right shift 1 digit you will get the result as 16. 12 right shift 2 digits you will get the result as 3. 12 right shift 3 you will get the result as 1. So, in this way when you perform right shift operation you will get the result as your number divided by 2 raised to n where n represents the how many bits you want to shift to the right. Then last bitwise operator is so this is another example of, for the negative numbers. So first we will represent the negative number into the binaries as so this
so I want to represent binary 12 minus 12 into the binaries. So, how I can represent first I know that this is the binary of this 12 number. So, if I want to represent this is the binary of plus 12 if I re want to represent it in it for bi minus 12. So, what I will do I will first find out the ones complement of this binary 12 number positive that is plus 12 number. So, ones complement means replace 1 by 0, 0 by 1. So, it is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. This is the ones complement complement of the number. Now, just add 1 into it. Just add 1 into this particular ones complement number. So, just add 1 into it. So, you will get the result as 1 plus 1, 0, 1 plus 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, this result you will get as a when you are adding 1 into this. So, this number is used to represent the minus 12. So, when you represent the negative numbers in binary, first find out one's complement of that number, then add 1 into it. So, this number is called as a 2's complement of the number. So, when you represent any number in negative number in binaries, find out the 2's complement of it. So, here the same result we have get. Uh, for minus 12, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 as a binary of it. Now, perform the same operation. So, A left, left, right shift 1, you will get the result as minus 6. A right shift 2, you will get the result as minus 3. So, minus 12, right shift 1 you will get the result as minus 6 minus 12 right shift 2 you will get the result as minus 3 same way if you use here 1 you will get the result as sorry uh, if you use here 3 you will get the result as minus 2. So, in this way uh, this right shift operation get performed on negative numbers also. So, to represent negative numbers find out the 2's complement of it and then perform the right shift operation. Then left shift last operator is the left shift operator. Using this left shift operator you can shift number of bits to the left and as a consequence of it you will get the result by multiplying your original number by 2 raise to n. So, here so, if your number is 5 or we will get the same number that is 12, it is represented as 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 in 5 digit format. So, when you perform sorry, left shift operation on it, left shift 1 digit to the left. So, what we are doing? We are removing the first digit. How many digits you want to shift to the left? Remove those digits from your number and add those many zeros at the end. So, I want to shift only one digit from it. So, I will remove that 0 from the beginning and I will add 1 0 additional 0 at the end. So, this is the result I will get after dividing after shifting one digit to the right and when you shift two digits to the right remove first two values from the number. So, when I do it for two digits, remove two digits from the number. So, 1 0 0 and add to that many number of zeros at the end. So, we will see the result what will be the result of it 12 left shift one digit to the right the result is 24 then two digits to the <coughs> right uh, sorry left you will get the result as 24. So, as I said 
you will get the result if you are now you are shifting only one digit to the right so 12 it should be multiplied by 2 raised to n so 12 into 2 raised to 1 that is 12 into 2 24 then 12 if you are shifting two digits to the right sorry left it should be multiplied by 2 in 12 into 2 raised to 2 that is 4 12 into 4 is 48 so here we are getting the results so this is the bitwise left shift operator so these are about the left uh, bitwise operators in python next type of operator is membership operator which is used to check or validate the membership of a value means we are checking here uh, whether the particular value or element item is present in the given sequence or not so there are two types of membership operators in and not in in operator is used to check whether the given sequence or the character substring or element exist in a current given sequence or not it evaluates to if it finds the specified element in a sequence otherwise it results in false so for example in this list one to five numbers are present and if we check three in list one so three is present in this particular list so it results in true suppose we write seven in list one so that seven is not present in the list so it results in false next operator is not in operator which evaluates to if the given sequence is not present in the given value is not present in the sequence otherwise it returns the false so seven not in list one so seven is not present so it results in true if we write three not in list one three is present so it results in false and the last type of operator is identity operator identity operators are used to compare two objects if both the objects are actually same along with the data type and it shares the same memory location and there are two types of uh, identity operators is and not is not so is evaluates through if the variables on either side I mean both the variables are same objects otherwise it results in false so x equals to 5 y equals to 5 so if we write x is 5 both are pointing to the same value if we write x equals to 5 then x equals to y both are pointing to the same value so x is y results in true if both are pointing to different values then it results in false is not operator it evaluates true if both variables are not in same objects so x equals to we have one list and y equals to another list and we have assigned z equals to x so the same memory location is assigned to variable x or uh, that is variable z so x is not z results in false and x is not y results in true so we'll see the example of it so if we consider any list l1 equals to some values and if we write 3 in this l1 it results in true if we write 3 not in l1 it results in false if we write 10 not in list 10 is not present so it results in true and identity operator if we create one more variable containing the same values so if we write l1 is l2 it results in false because l1 and l2 are two different objects and if we create l3 equals to l1 and now we will write l3 is l1 it results in true because both are sharing the same memory same for the x and y variable if x equals to 2 and y equals to 2 if we write x is y it results in two these two integers are pointing to the same value and uh, is not 
if we write l2 is not l1 because they are not sharing the memory so it results in true and if it is we write l2 itself then it results in false because l2 and l2 are same or l3 is not l1 so it results in false so these are the membership and identity operators in python so this is all about the python operators we have seen all type of python operators thank you